Hi! I hope you're all good and ready for a brand new video, because I am. Get yourself a cup of tea or coffee so we can have a good start. Um, today I would like to show you my bullet journal. I worked in this one for quite some time, from April 2018 until November last year. It was my first bullet journal and I actually collected a lot of cool ideas and inspiration for you to start with a bullet journal as well. If you want to know how to spice up your notebook and how to decorate it, I am sure you will learn from this video. Before I forget, my journal is from the brand Code and Quill. The paper is pretty thin, so painting with watercolors is an absolute no-go, but what I really liked about it is that it doesn't matter how full the book is, the pages will always lay flat. So before I start with explaining some things, I must admit that I don't use my bullet journal so much to plan things. Sometimes I do that, but while working in it, I realized that this journal is more a collection of things that make me happy and that I want to remember. I include pictures in it, cards, receipts, and quotes. I also made drawings and paintings. This is actually a great way to fill the blank spaces in your journal. As you might have noticed already, the notebook does have some water damage. This is kind of sad, but I couldn't really find a way to fix that. However, I guess it's a lesson for next time to not bring my journals in an open bag when it's raining outside. This is the journal spread that I made while I was visiting Copenhagen in Denmark with my sister. Creating travel spreads is actually one of my favorite things to do because it's a great way to capture your memories. I always recommend it to people to keep all your travel cards, receipts and pictures because nothing is better than looking back at your travels after a couple of years and remembering all these good events. What usually works to get you in a mood to journal is crafting a color palette that you enjoy. You can do this based on your favorite season. For me that's autumn and you can see that in the colors that I use frequently, but also in my illustrations. This is usually a starting point for me. After that you can just look at reference pictures on Pinterest. It's also possible to make a collage based on pictures out of a magazine. Or, if you don't have inspiration at all, go outside. Do not bring your phone, but look at all the beautiful things you see around you. Pick up things that you want to clue in your journal. Be careful with this, of course, but adding a simple leaf to your page can be remarkable. What I also enjoy doing a lot is printing my pictures and adding them here. It's sort of a photo diary in that way. I took most of the pictures that you see here with my iPhone and I edited them with the free Fiesco Cam app, so you can do that as well. There are so many other ways to decorate your journal. Other things that I frequently use are washi tape, flowers that I bought at my local supermarket and dried between the pages of a book for a couple of weeks, and stickers. I also write down to-do lists and playlists, so I can remember my favorite music when I flip through this journal in a couple of years. I added a moon calendar here. This calendar basically tells you on which dates in the year there will be a full moon. If I don't know what to do with a page, I usually add a brown envelope. You can add important cards or other notes that you wish to keep in there as well. You could also use an old book from a secondhand store your pages out of them and use them as a backdrop for pictures. If you don't like to use books, you could also use pretty wrapping paper for this. If you journal often, you will probably end up with a basket filled with papers that you can reuse. I often pick these papers based on a certain theme or what I said before, a color palette that I like. You cannot possibly overdo it, but hold on to balance. If one page is really busy, most likely it's nicer to keep the page next to it cleaner, but that's just my personal style. Oh, what you can see here as well is a paper tag. This one also works perfectly for filling up space and you can write down quotes on them or a playlist with your favorite songs. 
Sometimes you will see a monthly log. This is basically a calendar of the entire month that you draw before the start of a month. It contains all the dates and you can basically write down all the important events that you will attend, dinners with friends or parties. The space to write down things is limited, so if you wish to use your bullet journal to plan, it's necessary to make weekly logs. This is basically a draft where you write down your most important tasks for each day of the week. As you can see here, I didn't work in this journal in between March and June. This is a pretty long time, but the reason was that I was working on my graduation project. My life was simply pretty boring at that moment because I just wanted to graduate. It did work out though. I am not a student anymore at this point. This is another travel journal spread that I made in Berlin. Sometimes I already prepare the illustrations before I visit a city. This simply is easier because I don't know about you, but once you're on a city trip, there is not a lot of time to draw. It was also easier to do for me because I had already visited Berlin two times before. I think we're almost at the end of this bullet journal flip through. As you might have noticed, I loved spending time on this book and I especially enjoyed crafting my autumn spreads. If there is one thing that I would like to share with you is that you should not limit yourself in what your journal should look like. I am sure some of you might think this is too much work and you want to keep your journal simple and clean. That's perfectly understandable, but the reason why I do it like this is that it actually makes me so happy to work with paper in a world where everything is so rushed and mainly focused on digital products. There is nothing better to me than collecting pieces of paper and pictures and creating your own wonderland where there are absolutely no limits whatsoever. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, I hope to see you soon. You are able to check all my journal spreads on my Instagram, Middle Journals, and if you would like to buy my illustrations, that's possible as well. I will link my Etsy shop down below in the description. Bye bye!